Okay, now down to one of the final stages of this bathroom, getting the mirror up over this vanity. I'm gonna bring this in, you'll see me silicon it and put on the wall, and then I'll build a frame around it just to finish it off. Just make sure this wall's free of any dust. Before we do the silicon, a bit of a clean. All right, now I'm just trying to work out where to center this up. I've got the edge, I'm stepping it in a little bit and it's quite narrow this way. Like I said, it's gonna have a timber frame that run around, just to, runs around it just to finish it off. I'll just cut a couple little blocks there that I can place under each end just to help support it while the silicon goes off. And then it's just a matter of getting some silicon and some double-sided tape on the back of this. Now the reason I use a bit of double-sided tape, it just holds it in position until the silicon does go off. Now the silicon I'm going to use is what they call a natural cure silicon or a mutual cure. Um, you've got to make sure you use that on the back of the mirrors because if you use an acidic cure it can actually bleed through the back and sometimes you can see that on the mirrors itself. So just make sure you use the right silicon for that purpose. And then just a bit of double sided tape. Put that into the four corners and maybe the middle, just to, like I said, hold it in place until the silicon fully cures. Now, another little tip when doing this with your silicon is to make round circles. So what that actually does is when you put it on, it almost acts like a suction cap to hold it to the tile or the glass. And once that cures, it airlocks it in. So you just want to make sure your beads are, are nice and fat and obviously bigger than what your double-sided tape is. So it'll smush in. The moment of truth. Pull all the backs of these double-sided tapes off. Now just stick a little bit of tape on the corners, just in case, just to hold it against there, a bit of extra security. All right, now the moment of truth. You can see here this one's got all the silicon and tape already on the back of it. And I'm gonna try and put this one up by myself, so this could be interesting. Don't try that by yourself at home. <laughs> Just making sure now that I've got good pressure against those sections of double-sided tape that's behind there. Silicon's obviously gonna hold it once it sets, but I just wanna make sure that's really locked in. This one, I think we're gonna keep the blocks there overnight just till that sets. There's a bit more weight in this mirror than what we had in the ensuite. All right, some of the finishing touches, just gonna to put some of the silicon around the doorways to finish that off. This is the, the girls' bathroom. This is what it looks like in the real world. We've got some photographers coming tomorrow who are actually gonna film all these bathrooms, so it's one trying to get the silicon and stuff done there. And uh, yeah, if these little rug rats can tidy up their mess, we'll be all ready for the photos. But for now, we're gonna do the silicon in this bathroom and the silicon in the other bathroom, and then that's pretty much it done. So what I'm using is just like a wet area uh, silicon, just a white. And the reason we put this around the doors is just for expansion and contraction. So just when the doors shut, if you've got grout there, that's one of those areas that can sort of crack quite easily. So running the silicon around just gives it a, a nicer finish to avoid that cracking. So I've got the, got the silicon gun, gonna run that around, use a bit of soapy water, spray that on, and then just finish it off with an applicator around the edge just to get it nice and tidy. That's grey, it's not white. That one says light grey. These are the ones I want, white. All right, let's try that again with an actual white. Just like to slice the nozzle a little bit on these in a slight angle. All right, now one of the applicators has got a real square corner on it, so I'll use that to get that grey out. I'll just give it a bit of a spray with the soapy water. just to give you 
applicator, a bit of a spray as well. And then that just helps. And I've got my um, Instagram filmers on this side as well too. Got the big camera and the little camera. You ready for the action, director? Action, all right. All right, thanks, assistants. All right, I'll show you a bit of a close up now of how that's come up. So you can see there, having that applicator and pulling it down and through, just leaves a little bit of a concave there and then spraying the soapy water on it just stops it from sticking to the tiles and also to the architrave. This gives you a nice clean finish. You can just give it a little bit of a touch up with your finger if you need to afterwards, just to smooth off any other spots that may have little bumps or lumps in them. Generally that's it, all finished. All right, now the last little bit that I need to finish off is up inside this little shower niche. You can see there's an LED light that we put up in here. And so I've just got a silicon around that just so that's nice and sealed as well. So I'll show you a close up of that one. And then basically just repeat the process here. Make sure it's nice and clean. Give it a bit of a wipe down just to remove any scum there might be there. And you're ready for silicon. So now that these bathrooms are done, we'll head over to the other bathroom and uh, get that one all siliconed up as well. The only thing that's different here that you didn't see last time was probably this wall. We decided to paint that a different color. It just gives it a bit more depth and a bit more definition. So, so yeah, we're probably just gonna put a nice, um, nice big painting in here just to add a bit of greenery. That should finish it off nicely. A bit of silicon to do down along the skirtings there. And then just this silicon now around these final niches and then also around this door here just to finish it off as well. So you can see with this one, it came down a little bit over the herringbone tiles and it wasn't the neatest finish. So to clean it up, this is Mary giving it another spray with the soapy water. Spray your applicator and then run that back over. I'm just going to try and remove any bits of grout or paint or anything that might into the silicon. And then that's about it. I'll finish around this one, a little bit around that window, a bit of that skirting that's pretty much done in this room. I'll put a link to a full tutorial that I've done for how to silicon in a bathroom. It just goes into a bit more detail anyway, so you can see some close-ups of the tools to use and the right products. For now, this is just about ready to go. All right, now the window. These windows stay open all the time, so it's coming up and in. I've got to get that off before I put the silicon in. Otherwise, I'll clean up with some very dirty silicon. This gun control can be pretty hard. <laughs> I'm no expert at this, but you've really got to get that trigger right you can adjust the speed all you want but it's the feathering of the trigger that makes the difference all right now that we've moved in the house i'm just doing all the odds and ends all the little jobs one of the final things to do which is going to be good to get the place really sealed up is put this glass around these side lights and highlights you might remember from earlier custom making up this door now the guys have painted it all up and i'm just going to silicon those in not having those in place i've had wasps and bugs and all sorts of stuff come in like I said, while we're living there, so this should be nice just to seal it all off. It's got all this made up locally to a little local glass place. But now just pop the gloves on and see if I can seal it all in. Before I put this outside glass on, I'm just cutting the little glazing beads that go on the outside. They're like little fillets. You'll see me chop those up in the drop saw in a minute. But if I get all those ready, then I can slide the glass in and then just put those fillets around, nail it off, and then it's done. So this is the little fillet that I'm using. It's just a 45 splay, 12 mil by 12 mil, and that goes against the glass just to seal it off. Just put a bit of silicon on that, and then I'll nail that off with a the Paslo with some little uh, brads. Hey, get back here. 
<laughs> hey, get my pencil back. Little bugger, I'll tell you what, I'm glad to have this place sealed up so she can't steal all my stuff and chew all my pencils. Hey. And so what these essentially end up looking like, is the glass goes in, obviously we silicon it up and then just push this in around the outside, like I said, with some small brads, and that just picture frames that and finishes it off. All right, last panel. So that's it, all glass in. Last thing now is a lick of paint by the painters, so you'll see the finished product very shortly. And just like that, we're gonna paint a door. What do you think? It's quite pink, but it actually looks pretty cool against those uh, gray colored cladding boards, come up quite nice. Now you can also see that I've got our decking structure in place. It's not completed, we still need the decking boards to go on. We've done a few things out here, like some retaining walls and a bit of gardening for the front entry, put a hedge in and a few other bits and pieces. But as far as the house goes inside, that's pretty much all of our construction done. It's all finished off. It's come up quite nice. Now, what you'll see coming up in the next couple of episodes, we're gonna have our pool construction going in, and then we're also gonna have this deck and our main deck. So you'll see all that uh, work's being done as well. Final episode will be a walkthrough and a complete wrap up. I'll do a bit of a drone flyover and you get to see the whole thing completed. But for now, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're new, and follow us on our socials. Cheers guys, catch you next time.